everybody, this is Anime Game Otaku 95. Last episode, Ichi Ichiki and his friends went to go work at the local Hamas training company and, well, they discovered that the, they'll train some fish food ingredients to the fancy restaurants by selling it at the, and buying at the same price, which it was kind of weird-ish. And in the meantime, I am still completing some side missions, and right now I'm about to go help the girl named Ely to with her company. So I'm about to go take some tutorials of what to do. So what's gonna happen next? Let's go play. Okay, teach me what you know about this company. I'm ready to start your training whenever you are. What do you think? Yeah. Let's do it. All right then. Here we go. Okay, there's a business management which Ichiki takes the world of company president in order to bring the Ichiki companies back to the top. If I want to be the best in Yokohama, I have to reach we love the number one spot in the sub price. It plays in two phases, day-to-day -day business and shareholder meetings. Hmm. Uh, I cannot use company funds as his personal piggy bank, nor he can use any personal funds to fund the company. Okay. They say one of the best ways to boost the benefit is to boost sales. Let's try one of business wants us to feel how the management work. We got a job to do. Um. Okay. I'm so. Okay, the employees are motivated, open for business. Okay, I'm guessing let's just go fast forward. Business concluded. These results are kind of underwhelming. Oh, we're kind of bleeding money here. Thank you. Epic fail. Our ranking dropped. Well, that was kind of weirdest. And that's about all there is to managing a business. So, not too hard, is it? Yeah, not so bad. Uh, yo, wait up. You're acting like this is in the back, but we're flat broke. Broke as hell. Uh, yeah, super broke. You didn't have to put it like that. We didn't make enough money. Right now, all we have on staff is a bunch of deadbeats. And don't even get me started on the furniture and equipment. Of course we're in the red. So what can we do? We'll have to invest. Uh, we need to advertise, hire competent staff, get new equipment, maybe some new furniture while we're at it. And we're gonna pay for all that how? Uh, good question. Then what the hell do we do? That's where you come in. Seriously? What kind of mess did I get myself into? All right, well, first off, let's think about how we'll get the money to cover the infrastructure and new hires. I don't know if anyone would be willing to invest in us. I suppose we'll have to take out another loan? Uh, and after Nonomiya-san just repaid the last one, too. Would you know anybody? Who's someone with money? Or a rich friend? Or maybe someone from your childhood who grew up to be an oil baron? Look, I'm unemployed and ex-Yakuza. Why would I have... Wait. What is it? Wait, you remember something? He wouldn't. Would he? That's where I'm at. Come on, Nick. I want to do this. 
for both the company and Nonomiya-san's sake. I just need a little bit of... Uh, is she eating a giant cookie? I think it's called. Please, man, can you help me out? You okay there, Nick? Excellent! Your kindness and consideration for others is... Wait, isn't that the same guy who taught Iski how to use a phone? Really? Man, thanks, Nick. That said, I'm no novice when it comes to management. I can't just throw money at you like it's nothing. If you want the funds, you have to meet my three conditions. Conditions? Indeed. If you can agree to them, consider the investment yours. Seriously? Okay, yeah, man, whatever it takes. So, what are these conditions? First condition? The company must never be in the red. Now, I don't ever want to see a minus next to company funds. And that includes the starting capital I'm about to give you. If I do, I'll have arrangements made to counter this on mine. This is by no means free money, and I am not a charity. Sound good so far? Yeah, that's fine. Very well. Second condition. I want the company's share price ranking to be within Yokohama's top 100 by the specified deadline. Share what now? Ranking. It's what measures the company's value. If the share price goes up, so does the ranking. And I want your company to be in the top 100. Knowing you and your company's potential, it should be a piece of cake. So the deadline is simply there to keep you motivated. I'll contact you later regarding the deadline. Condition two suits you fine? Yeah. What's condition three? The last condition. And you can take all the time you need with this one. I want you to become the number one company in the share price ranking. Best of the best, huh? I want that little confectionery of yours to be the crown jewel of Yokohama. In other words, get out there and get to the top. I'm not willing to invest my money into anyone who can't fulfill these conditions. So, what'll it be? You got yourself a deal. I don't fully understand it, but I'm gonna do my best. I'll see you to it that Ichiban Confections becomes the biggest company in Yokohama. Then we're on the same page. Okay. With that, I'll go get the first portion of the investment ready for you. You're free to use the money for whatever you like. Be that improving infrastructure or personnel logistics and training. Awesome! Thanks a bunch, Nick. No need to thank me. I'm expecting some kind of return once your company is good and stable. Looking forward to the results. Well, adios. Oh, money. Just look at all this money. Wow, boyfriend, you actually did it. I'd be all over you if I was younger. Uh, gee, thanks, lady. I'll take that as a compliment. This is amazing. Thank you, Kasuga-san. Save your thanks for Nick Ogata. Besides, it's not like this came with no strings attached. There are conditions. No dropping into the red, be in the top 100 share price ranking by the specified deadline, and ultimately take the top rank in share price. These are his conditions? Yep. Yeah, and I'm not about to disappoint the man. I made a promise to fulfill them. Top 100? Hmm, that's gonna be tough. So we'll have to make sure we do our very best. Well, let's start by using this money to get this company back on its feet again. Kasuga-san, just let me know when you're ready to begin. You got it. Okay, we see 5 million yen from Nick. We top 100. Okay, apparently I can't exit out, so... I think it's about time we put Nick-san's money to use and start rebuilding this company. What do you think? Yeah, let's do it. Then without further ado, let's begin. Okay, I think it'll be wise to maximize Nick's investment by reviewing the current state of the company. 
Let's start by checking out the Incubon Confession. Okay, select the properties. Hmm. Yeah, I guess I need to change my pearly, so assign. Take you out. I'll handle it, sonny. I'm gonna take you out and use a chicken. Yeah, I'm going to pick someone else. Nope. Okay, there you go. Wait, but how's the chicken gonna help with work? Okay, go to the pearlies. Okay. Yeah. For those of you who don't know what layoff means, it means that I need to terminate the employee, so... Yeah, bye-bye. <laughs> now, let's go open for business. No, I, I'm still the same. Hell yeah, we actually made a profit. Amazing. Yeah, we did better. And all thanks to Nixon's investment. Having an investor makes all the difference, it seems. It just goes to show the importance of where you put your money. Right. To invest in people or infrastructure. There are so many ways to do this right here and now. But we should also consider how the money can be used in the future. Money for the future? I guess it all boils down to making the right choice at the right time. There's more to this than I thought. I'd say we're on the right track, seeing as we made a profit this time. Ichiban Confections is finally making a comeback. Let's continue working our way into the top 100 Kasuga-san. Uh, President Kasuga. You know it. Nah, <laughs> chicken. Oh, cool, I got the chicken as my pal mates. Nice. We should just head back and hit the hay. Yeah, it's not healthy to stay up too late. Who are you, the sleep police? I'll go to bed when I'm ready. Come on, we're buddies now. So trust me, you need your beauty sleep. She doesn't have a thing for me, does she? 
You ever notice how she only picks on me? Maybe that's what she does to men she's secretly attracted to. Not a chance in hell, old boy. Hey, how about I make dinner for everyone? Wow, you can cook? Like a chef. I'll just go buy some ingredients. Nanchan, come with me and carry the bags. Nanchan? Here we go. Yep, I think she likes you. She sure seems happy about falling in with us. But... But what? I wonder if it's really the best thing for her, you know? I guess it is a dangerous bridge she's crossing with us. But it's what she wants. Just because she's having a little fun with it doesn't mean she ain't committed. Shouldn't we respect that? Yeah, you're right. Okay, be back in two shakes. Two shakes? You mean two minutes or... 20 minutes. We saw it went hard last night, huh? <laughs> it was a nice change of pace. Yeah, guess we should head to the warehouse. What's up? When I get to the bottom to say stuff already. I can't handle more of it. Okay, Shay Shay. Next? Let's see. One million yuan. Just a minute. Uh, is that enough money? It's not enough. Excuse me, boss? What is it? There isn't enough money in the safe. Huh? Oh, well, we have had a lot of shipments lately. Sorry, so we ran out of money on hand. Well, make it up on the next payment. What? Hey, that's not what we agreed to. We cut you a great deal of understanding. We'll be paid up fun in cash. You don't have the money without handling it over the goods. Fine, just let me get your money at the bank. Come back in half an hour. And you'll have it? Don't worry, you can trust me. Wait right here. Yes, sir. Yeah, how much you gonna bet he's gonna be suspicious? Paper and Chinese food? In the food? That'd be weird. What? Hey, you get the money? Oh, um, it's not here yet. Sorry for the wait. Yeah, those have got to be fake. Yeah, oh. they are. I mean, it's fucking weird, right? Where'd all that extra money come from? He did have to go to the bank. No, he went to the second floor. Never set foot outside. I saw him. And when he came back down, he was carrying the case of money. Could be they've got a safe up there. Who knows how much would be in it. But then why not move a sufficient amount from there to here? Why did I come up short? There's always the explanation that someone was just lazy. If all he needed to do was go up to another safe, he wouldn't have asked for half an hour. Good point. Let me get this straight. When the vendor asked for payment, there wasn't enough cash. So then the boss got more money from somewhere in this building. And that's where the box comes in, remember? There was a box of paper in it, next to the uh, ones with shark fins and abalone and stuff. Yeah. Reams and reams of paper. Before he paid the guy, the foreman took that paper up to the second floor. Wait, are you saying the paper is counterfeit kind of money? Kind of fake money. They make that shit right there. You think they have that kind of printer? They gotta. But and all the stuff they're importing, they just buy it with their fake ass money. 
I don't know. Seems like a damn foolish plan. But it's possible. They do make all their payments up front with cash. That's really unusual in this day and age, especially with the sales volume they have. Another good point. There has to be some reason why they would refuse to use a bank. And I think their big profits tell the same story. Me too. Well, maybe it sounds believable to you two, but not to me. But it's right there. The reason they pay in cash is to use their fake money. Can't do that with a bank. That would also explain why they're able to sell at cost. The profits would be crazy doing it this way. I mean, after all, they're essentially getting their product for free. Plus, the seller takes the fake bills to China, where they won't be traced back to Japan. That's bold. But in a way, airtight. Mabuchi's a sharp guy. Maybe his primary goal is to hide where the money comes from. Like you mean money laundering? Probably. I heard some guys in my room talking. They said foreign currency is easier to fake than yen. But the problem was, you have no way of turning that fake money into yen. If you take it to the bank, they'll know it's fake right away. Maybe that's why Mabuchi is laundering the shit with a cash-only trading company. The products are just a front for the money laundering. Sounds like we have a lead on Mabuchi's fraudulent scheme. Let's use this to threaten him. We've got leverage now. Wait, this is all just speculation so far. We need to find solid proof that he's counterfeiting money. Proof that will really force his hand. What if we snuck up to the second floor and took a picture of the money printer? No way would it be that easy. If they have a printer up there, security on that floor will be tight as hell. And if we get caught, it won't just be a slap on the wrist. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah you guys might be killed. We only need to sneak out one fake bill. Psycho, you already have access to the fake money. Uh, yeah, but didn't I tell you about the body check they do on me when I leave? Now I see why. They're doing that to ensure I don't take any of the fakes. Okay, but they don't check us guys. We're just unloading crates. Could you slip us a bill while we're working? I could try. You have to be really careful. Of course. Nice. Tomorrow I can say goodbye to all this manual labor. I'm actually feeling kind of excited about this plan. Then I'll make us an exciting dinner tonight. <laughs> we'll all need our energy. Nanchan, we're going shopping again. Me again? I'm beat. No worries. I'll go. Ichiban, you used to be a Yakuza, right? Uh... He used yeah. to. Your old life must have been a scary one. Was it hard on you? Guess so. But what counts as scary is different for everyone, isn't it? And, you know, it changes over time and all that. Yeah, I understand. I'll tell you something. The old me would have no idea what to do in this situation. But the new me? It feels like she can do anything. Or at the very least, what used to scare her just doesn't anymore. Sounds great. But you still gotta remember what actually is dangerous and be careful. You worry too much. Come on, let's go. <sighs> Okay, let's go see how the love boys are doing. Oh, Ichi-san, thank you so much for the last time. <laughs> no worries. Looks like you two really hit it off. Happy for you. Yes. On a note, I have something I want to discuss with you, Ichi-san. I know it might be a bit early, but I was thinking as silly son out on a date. Knowing any good place for a date? Having no experience, I'm not really sure where to take her. Might be too early to say, but he's acting a lot more positive than he used to be, so that's good at least. Mm. First date, huh? Okay. Uh, let's see. The theater, yeah. How is the theater? That's a good place to start. Yeah. 
Take us to the movies. You guys could talk about it afterwards, see how you, what you both thought. I see, yeah. That would definitely keep the conversation going. Thank you, easy son. Oh yeah, since it's a day, you guys should go see one of the romantic flicks. Romantic? Okay, I understand. I'll go and ask her right away. Oh, what happened to her? She has a... Uh, she got punched in the eye or something. Silly son, your face! Are you alright? Oh, uh, cold son, I'm fine. I just, uh, bump into something. That's all. Poke soup coming right up. Yeah. Oh, well, I... Wait, no, yes, uh, thank you. Uh, but actually, I have something I want to ask you. Mm -hmm. Oh, what is it? Hello. Um, would you like to go on the movies with me? What? Is that I don't know. Oh, I'm sorry. I was just surprised. It's definitely not a no. You changed, Coruscant. You you're totally different from when I first met you. You think so? Hi. Yes. I could learn a thing or two from you. I'll be looking forward to the movie. Man, that went well. <laughs> Silly son says yes. We'll meet at the Singar Cinema around noon. Right. I was thinking about getting her a gift for a date, but I wanted to ask for your advice again. No. Nah, you don't need me anymore, man. Huh? You know what better than I do at this point, so I'm sure you'll come up with something. Just keep doing what you're doing. Oh! I guess I do know a little better now. Yeah, okay. The me at the single cinema? Huh? Does it not side mission? What's with the crowd? Sorry to disturb you during your recovery, honey Amazon. Can you tell us what happened out there? Honey Amazon, have you had any further contact with Anzai san since the incident? No, none at all. Just an apology from a representative. Anzai san insists the play was entirely his doing. He performed a dangerous slide despite the fact that he was in the clear already. How did you see things, Hani Amasan? That's not the hmm, I wonder what happened. Home one heals him. We understand that Anzai san is an old friend of yours. What sort of player was he back then? They say playing as number four next season to Fool's Aaron. What are your thoughts on that? There are even rumors Anzai san will be leaving the Yokohama Shark Stars. Famous favorite player or not, those reports are ruthless. Hey, please, no pushing. Hey, this shit's serious. Yeah, I think they're gonna beat him up. Thanks. Honey Amazon, we still have some questions. Hey, aren't you gonna apologize for pushing him over? Yeah, I, I didn't. Assholes. This guy's injured, and you don't even think to say sorry? Yeah! Yeah, go away! Sheesh. You guys are hopeless. Thank you. Can you stand? Here, grab my shoulder. Thank you. Um, Kasuga-san, was it? I'm Hanayama. Might not look it right now, but I'm actually a baseball player. So, that leg? That because of your friend Anzai? Being an athlete's not all it's cracked up to be, huh? You could say that. This whole thing is really starting to make headlines. You haven't heard? Sorry. I tend to keep my distance from that stuff. From what the reporters were saying, Anzai acted on his own. I don't think so. He's not the type to do something like that. Pretty kind words about a guy who put you in a cast. We were in the same baseball club from elementary all the way through high school. His accuracy's always been perfect, so 
No way this was an accident. But he cared about the team with all his heart. Was always a true sportsman on the field. He put the bond with his teammates above all else, even winning. I just can't believe this thing was all his idea. Even if that were true, he's still the one who made the play, right? You saying someone ordered him to do it? Probably. The Yokohama Shark Stars shifty manager. That's Anzai's team, if you didn't know. The manager? Why do you say that? Since the new manager stepped in, the Shark Stars have been locked in second place. That's not gonna change anytime soon. Hell, people were saying the new manager would have to retire before the ink on his contract dried. Must have got a win, of course. And if they could pull off winning the last game, they probably would have won the season. So the guy got impatient and ordered Anzai to take you out. I'm guessing there's some reason Anzai couldn't say no, right? That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, so maybe they Anzai blackmail your friend. Speaking of which, I'm surprised you're willing to hear me out. Anzai is basically public enemy number one right now. Even if he is your friend, nobody be willing to defend someone they knew was lying. I like you, Kasuga-san. You know what's up. It makes me think I could trust you with a favor. A favor? I'd like you to meet with Anzai and find out what really happened. With the shape I'm in, I can't exactly hop across town. Meet with Anzai? But if you can't even get to him, how can I? There's a place on Hamakaze Street he hangs around in. Usually in disguise. Probably there now. The... in the skies? Are you sure you'd want you sharing that? I'm sharing because you did me a solid. Because you don't just believe whatever the mob believes. Fair thing. Uh, look, I'll make it worth your while if you help me out with this. Okay, except. <laughs> like I'm gonna say no after all that? Yeah, fine. I'll go ask him for you. Ah, oh, thanks, Kasuga-san. Ah, oh, here. Let me give you this. Okay, the photo... Okay, at least I'll know what he looks like. His looks might have changed a bit, but this should help you find him. I'm counting on you, man. Off to Hamakaze Street. Uh-oh! There's a suspicious guy. And he's gonna follow me. Okay, there's another side mission. I'm gonna go have a look. Check that fruit out. Didn't notice this was a persimmon tree. Persimmon? It's a big one, ain't it? Hello there. Hmm? Are you out for a stroll too? It's the perfect weather for it. Yeah, sure. Hey, Kanachan. <sighs> you guys taking a walk too? Yes, staying cooped up in the house doesn't do much for one's health. So we step out for a walk from time to time. Oh, cool. Not like it matters. I'm going to die soon anyway. Once that persimmon falls from that tree, my life is over. There you go again with that nonsense. Sorry about that. Nah, no, don't sweat it. Well, if you'll excuse us, let's go, Kanachan. That girl. I wonder if she's sick. Yeah, I think she is sick, but. Okay, so for this mission, I gotta figure out a way how to make more fruits out of that tree. But. It's kind of impossible unless I have some magic. Hmm. Huh, what's this side mission about? That's the place I see likes to be somewhere around here. Oi. Hey, you are son, the guy with a kill slide. We lost a game because of you. What's what? How many hammer hours season? What the heck were you thinking? Mm. Yeah, he does look a little different. Well, that beard looks new, but that's definitely the guy in the photo. Looks like he got company, though. Huh? Quit with the tough guy act and say something. <laughs> I 
That was all my fault. Even I want to pause right now, I don't expect to be forgiven. Jock, think you can play off just like that, do you? Amy did put his friend out of the game. This is too much. Yo. Hey, you're going a bit rough on someone who hasn't put in our fight. Huh? Who's this Jocko? Oh, I'm just passing by, but I can't let this slide. Two against one is a little unfair, don't you think? Eh? Back off! This drug hold one of our players just so his team could get ahead. Oh, yeah? Well, I got some business with him. Maybe you two should take a hike. Be quiet! Keep running your mouth and we'll take our anger on you first. Okay, the level 15, so I guess I'll use this. Ow. Uh, what's this? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Ooh, that was super effective! Ah! Uh, who the heck is this guy? Yo. Yo, right? You that baseball player, Asi son, right? Yeah, I don't know who you are, but you saved me. Thank you. My name is Iski. So you we are him? Ooh. Yeah, I am. But I won't be in the base for much longer. Glad I got a hold of you. I met a guy named Hami Hama. You might know him. Hmm? You met with him? Yeah, he was looking for you. Wanted to ask you about that slide. Knowing him, his party said I never do something like that, right? Yeah. That's right. How me how I believe it wasn't your call to to make that play. Of course he does. Mm. I thought it was strange myself, but seeing you how you're acting, Oya, it doesn't seem like he's wrong. Can't imagine someone who plays Spodori like that just to lie down and take the beating. Yeah. Look, I don't know all that Hamia told you, but I did that on my own free will. Nobody ordered me to do it. Then why do it? It's not like you have to pull on this dangerous slide like that, right? Oh. I panic! Players do it all the time, especially in the game that would guarantee the team the season. Sure, but you're Hamia's Hamas friend, right? You wouldn't want to put your friend out of job just for the game. In a world of professional sports, it's all about winning and losing. Can't be saying something naive like that. That's because he's my friend. So, let's leave it at that. The incident was entirely my doing. I'm my fault and I'm planning on retiring. Isn't that enough? I really appreciate the safe factor. Take care. I should tell how many how and what went down. Better head back. They're the same guy who was following me. Huh. What are you doing here? Hey. Hey, the kid's not with you today? What? Oh, you're the man for audio. Hey. No, she's resting at home today. Her surgery is soon, so she won't be able to go outside as often. Surgery? Kana-san, my daughter, she was born with significantly weaker than most children. They get to go to school while she does her learning at the hospital. She's been receiving treatment before upcoming surgery. On days when she was feeling better, we'll go for a walk like the last time. Despite that, it seems the routine has finally caused her to shut herself in. I have no idea. Does this surgery sound promising? Well, she's healthy enough to go do it, but the problem is that she's losing her will to live. And that certainly complicates things. Hmm? Her will to live? Yes. One of well-being is dependent on the willpower. 
Even if the body's doing well, the lack of willpower will eventually drag the body down with it. Wow. Right. I guess she got it to make it do to it, huh? Exactly. I've been trying to do what I can to take it all outside for walks, but it doesn't seem to be helping. You can see the tree from our home nearby. Each time she looks at the window, it's the same theme. Once that planet falls from the tree, my life is over. I'm starting to feel when the planet does fall, her life will literally fall with it. I come here whenever I check on the planet's mud. I hope it doesn't fall before surgery. Forgive me, I didn't mean to get you involved in this. No. No, I don't mind at all. My name is Sully Bila, by the way. Yeah. Um, Itchy Sun. I shouldn't buy this area party often, so I'll keep an eye on that permanent. That's very kind of you. Well, I should be going. You better stay in that bunch until her surgery, you little foot. Okay, now time to tell you what your friend has told me. Hey. Yo, how's it going? Kaki-san, did you meet up with Asa? Mm. Yeah, I did, but he was persuaded of being as his fault. <sighs> was he? But he was just, like you said, I see why you believe in him. Thank you, Kaki-san. Still, we're at the inputs as long as he can keeps quiet. Ooh. Hey, you two! Who are you? My name is Kutu. I am the journalist. You, Kagi-san, right? Mm -hmm. You, we know each other? I saw you how you help out Hamilama kind of embarrassed to say it, but I sort of follow you. What for? Look like you and Hamenha were really hitting off. Figures that you'll make a move about the slight incident. I even saw you meet with Asa. What's your anger? Don't get the wrong idea. I wanted to help you too. Help us? I'll get it right to the point. I got an inside info on the shark star manager. Really? He has a nasty wound going around him for a while. Nobody would dare say it out loud, though. Everyone knows that he's behind what happened. He even been seen threatening Asa here and there. What? So Asa gets all the bad press while the joke gets off scot-free? He got some connections all over town, not to mention money and power. Sensing bad publicity all works in a day's work. There was a reporter doing his digging on his wrongdoings not too long ago, but apparently both he and his publisher were missing. The press couldn't write about this guy even if they want to. <laughs> huh. Even they wanted to, huh? Some journalists. My thoughts exactly. It's why I'm bringing this information to you. And that information is? I was able to find a manager's favorite spot. Some call it a rose blossom. He comes in from the back entrance, usually pretty hush hush. Wow. And if we go there, we might find this guy? Hmm. Yeah, you might be able to uncover the truth. I intend to do the same and get some evidence. Evidence? We can't put a story out without solid evidence, but if we get some dirt on him, something he can't talk his way out, we'll have him cornered. For that, we need to get him when he scored down. Going down myself is too reckless. However, I'll, I'll, I'll like to ask for your help. I see what you're getting at. I'm in. Hold on. Hold on, it's way too risky. You'll screw up and you'll be thrown out of the game for good. That and someone's bound to recognize you. But I... I'll go. That'll work, yeah? Yeah, thanks. Head to the world's bottom when you're ready. We'll meet out in front. Yo. Hey, hold on, cool son. Mm -hmm. What is it? Why you suddenly take the risk like that? You'll be in serious trouble if this doesn't go well, would you? I guess seeing you go to distance for a complete stranger make me feel the same for putting out so much crap all these years. 
I'm a journalist. Words are what I do. If I'm not using the power to put those strokes like him in a place, then what's the point? Plus, I'm a fan of Asa. Watching him play baseball inspired me to chase my dream. The least I could do is to try to give it back. <laughs> yeah. Pretty passionate guy. I thought all the poets were jerks, but there are some good ones out there too. Yeah, sorry to get you mixed up in this. I'm counting on you. Leave it to me. Leave it to me, that joke won't know what hit him. Uh, meeting with Kudu at the world's bottom. I'll head over there when I'm ready. Uh oh, I think I see someone hitting a tree. I better stop him before that food falls. Hey, I'm pretty sure that girl Kanako's special persimmon trees over here somewhere. I wonder if the fruit's still... Huh? You gotta be kidding. Oh no. Yo, what the hell are you doing? Mm. What's it look like? I'm practicing on this tree, boss. Why here? Can't you like do that shit at the sumo stable or something? Yeah, go there. I'd be more than happy to, boss. But I'm afraid that's no longer an option. Why is that? Our sumo stable's pretty small with only my master, my mentor, and myself. I usually practice with my mentor. But one day, he went out for drinks with another wrestler and, well, had a large bottle of sake broken over his head. A bottle of sake? The culprit claims he was too drunk to remember anything, but because of him, my mentor's in the hospital. Three months for a full recovery, they say. I lost my practice partner. My brother. My family boss. I'm gonna avenge him at the Spring Sumo Tournament. That's why I'm training for the big battle with this here tree. You're acting like the guy's dead. And look, nothing personal, but could you at least practice on another tree? Seriously, any tree other than this one. Sorry, boss, but of all the trees in Yokohama, this one is the biggest and feels the most like my boy. Yes, sir. I get the feeling this tree's gonna make me a whole lot stronger. Yeah, if you keep hitting a tree, that fool's gonna fall down. Monster. That being said, I'll show no mercy to anyone who stands between me and my practice. Yo, I ain't telling you to stop practicing. I'm just worried about the persimmon on this tree. And I'm worried about wasting time and losing my rank. But if you insist on stopping me, then... I'm just gonna have to practice on you, boss. Uh oh, I'm going to fight him. Right. Okay, let's see. Boy, that was easy. Oh, mm. well fought. Man, speak for yourself. <clears throat> oh no, the primitive food. Oh, looks like it's okay. The way your fight says it all, boss. You got something you want to protect. You'll protect this pointer tree no matter the cost. Just like I'll protect my partner. <laughs> Guess you and I are on so different after all, huh, boss? Ha 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 Yeah, I don't know about that. This tree here is yours, boss. Sure, sounds good. Thanks. As for me, I'm gonna go find another worthy tree. Farewell, boss. Mm. Wouldn't it be quicker if we just found a different practice partner? Well, I'm glad the perimeter is safe. I should check from time to time. Oh, she was watching. 
Okay, this is where I'm supposed to meet up with that journalist, so... Let's go catch the guy. You're here. The manager just arrived. Okay. Perfect. Alright, let's do this thing. Let's do this. Alright, guys. Cheers to the Star Sox big win. Cheers! Hey, Mr. Manager, dreams on you today, right? So that's how it is, huh? Well, we did win, so drink all you want. Mm. So that's the manager. <laughs> Talk about win, huh, man? It was so close, not often we get the tight game. Really? It's all thanks to Hamiha getting the deck like that. Hmm, no kidding. <gasps> Hummy saw the one that got hurt, right? That guy only saw it took out. It's all over TV. You know, Hummy saw my kind of guy too. Same they turned out to be such a creep. I'll say, a couple of choice swords from the manager here, and he'll fight out drowns. The not player, ain't that right? What? Wait, did you tell him to do that, slime, Mr. Manager? Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, no, I didn't. I just gave him the plain and simple. All I said was we wouldn't be able to win with Homicide in that picture. Told him if he was loyal, he'll take care of it. That's all. <laughs> oh, you're a bad boy. Omi saw him become a baseball player after the match and picks him up. There's no way he'll disobey someone he owns so much. <laughs> Still, good thinking. You're really playing to win. Heh. <laughs> Gotta keep a good hand on those who owned you. He did well. We got our big win while he takes a big fall. <laughs> Figures he was out of the game. I'll just at least give him some reverse for whatever he ends up. Ha ha ha! Very kind of you. Yo. Appreciate you clean that up, boys. Mm -hmm. Who are you? I'm your local journalist, Kutu. And I just record everything you just said. Eh? What? We got proof that you're behind this foul play. Once we get over to the press, you'll finish. Hm. Huh. If you make it on the one piece, maybe. Who do you think you're dealing with? Uh-oh. Uh -huh. Don't underestimate me. You can't stay manager if you don't know how to play the game. Stand back, Kurosan. But, you said you were good at wars, right? Well, this is what I'm good at. Matter of fact, I'm just a guy for a job. Leave it to me. Right, good luck. Ooh. Boys, I want these dummies and their present evidence gone. <laughs> Fine by me. Let's take it out of front. I'll take the whole team down. Let's see if I can take him out in one move. No, wait. Mm, guess I'll just hit you. Okay, now maybe I can use a mega swing. Let's see. Okay, there you go. Now... Hey! Okay, let me just... Let's see. Uh-oh. 
Ah! Oh no, he's asleep. Ow. Okay, so I need a few more to go. Wake up, wake up! Wake up, Iski. Let's go. Let's do it. Let's go. I'm not And I won. There we go. Man, that's all you got? Thanks, you really saved my butt. Don't sweat it. Anyway, you better get on the Oracle, yeah? Yeah. For the first time in a long time, I'll finally be able to write something worth reading. Also, I will be able to return to a baseball with this. This is for helping me with our little interview. Take it. The pen is mightier than the sword! Give my regards to Hami, Hama, and Asa. Yeah. Sure. That's a relief. Now, Asa can make his return. Better let them know. Okay, let me go check on the tree. Oh, it looks like the persimmon's okay. That was a really close call with that sumo wrestler. We should be fine now. <gasps> hey! Whoa. Who did that? Oh no. Next one will get it. That pretty little persimmon's going down. Hey! Watch what you're shooting! Wait, is that a baby gun? Babies? Damn, these little bastards hurt. I don't know what's going on here, but I need to stop that maniac or the persimmon's gonna get shot. Yeah, stop him. He doesn't know what he's doing. Stop shooting the fruit! Huh? Who the hell are you? I'm the guy oh, who was gonna kick your butt! That idiot who was dancing near my target. I wasn't dancing. You shot me, you dipshit! Did I? Oh, I'm sorry. Don't worry. I'll make sure the next one's on target. Hold up. Cease fire. What have you got against the fruit? I have nothing against that persimmon. I was just testing something out. Testing what out? I'm a big military fanboy. I had this sniper rifle imported from overseas, and it just arrived today. What do you think? Pretty cool, huh? It's a dream come true for a Well, it does look cool. Me. And I also can't complain about how genuine the specs are. A steel cylinder for maximum durability. The trigger even has that real authentic click. What's this? What's this guy's talking about? Anyway, I was wanting to test this baby out when. Lo and behold, I found the perfect target. That pesky persimmon. Ah, oh, I get you. That's why you were shooting at it. That's cool and all, but you mind switching targets? What? I can't have you shooting at that persimmon. You see, there's this girl who's sick and... That's a negative! What? Why? He means no. The sniper oh. never lets his target live. And I'm gonna put it down with my new partner here. Dude, it's a toy. Calm down. You still intend to stop us? Then you'll be our first hit. Uh oh. Well, you already shoot him already, so. Yeah, I better go beat him up. Right. Okay, let's see. Ooh. Looks like the fist defeats the gun. Man, 
Never really been one for a close corner comeback. Man, it really doesn't need to go down like that, man. Time to abort mission and move on. I don't want to see you shooting at that thing again. Uh, fine. I'll let you have this one. The kill is yours. I'm not gonna kill anything. Anyway, I'm I'm gonna I'm going to get going. Hey, hold up! One last thing. That was a fun fight. Human target things drilled to the whole new level. Is that all right? We could do it again once I order a new gun. Yeah. Sure. I'll kick your scoop loving butt many times as you want, as long as you leave that put him that put him food alone. Huh. Ooh, any knockouts? Boy, oh, it looks like the primer is safe now. Hopefully, it stays away until the surgery. Well, before I move on with the other side missions, I'm gonna go stop and take a break. So, until next time, this is Anime Game Otaku 95.